back to Talk of the Town. You know, these freezing temperatures may have you dreaming of warm summer days, cutting flowers and harvesting vegetables from your garden. Well, garden expert Troy Martin says we need to get to work on that right now, and we That's can. Right. You can. Uh, you know, these cold winter days like this when the sun is shining, I really want to be out in the garden, but it's not very pleasant. So I always think about what I can do indoors to get sort of a jump start. So we can start planting seeds today. We, we probably should. And you should, because if you think about what you're going to be planting in the garden here in the next few weeks, um, broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, those, those things that like it cold, those vegetables that like the cold weather, by mid-March, or the end of March, we can be planting those outdoors. So you need about six weeks time to get your seed started and, and have them ready to go outside. So you're gonna show us how to do that right now. Absolutely. We're starting with these little, what do we call these? Little peat pellets is okay. what they're called. And they start out flat like this. And then when you add water to them, they, they get expand fat. and they get fat. So um, it's a great way to uh, start seeds indoors in a compact space. So they've already got a little hole kind of punched in the top, and you can just sow two or three seeds okay. in the top of each one. Starting with broccoli. I was surprised to see how tiny broccoli seeds are. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're little. Well, I've just sowed them all over the place. <laughs> That's but we're right. going to put them grow. in this little hole. So you put yeah. multiple seeds in there, but what yeah. do you do? So two or three that? seeds in each little hole, and when they sprout, what you're going to do is thin them out, and you'll pull the weaker ones and leave the strongest plant, the one strongest plant in each little pellet. And they'll grow up to about four or six inches tall and then you can harden them off and, and put them outdoors. And this has a top that you put that on it. That has a top that you put on it so it keeps the humidity in, it keeps a little warmth in. Um, I use a grow light at home but it's just a simple shop light that I bought at a, at a home store. Mm -hmm. uh, just or a plugs sunny in, window. Plugs into the wall. You can use a sunny window. I have a great southeast facing window. I put a TV tray in front of it and just set my little flats mm -hmm. on top of that. It grows just as well. How often do we water? You water just enough to keep these damp. Okay. And you can tell when you, when you water them uh, that these dry pellets are a lighter color. Mm -hmm. So one of the things to watch for is for the pellets to start changing color. And okay. when they look a little lighter, you can add a little water because then um, you won't they're be over, to get they're dry. starting to get yeah. dry and okay. you won't be overwatering. Cool. So this is kind of a neat thing. This is a, a plant called moonflower or moon vine. It's related to morning glory. It'll grow 10, 15 feet tall, but it blooms at night. The flowers are six or eight inches in diameter wow. and they open in the evening and they attract all kinds of cool pollinators to the garden. Okay. So these are big seeds. So I'm using a bigger peat pot that's, that's already preformed and I'm just going to plant probably two seeds in the top of each one. And you can plant these right into you the ground. You can plant the peat pots right into the ground later on, which is a great thing. So all I'm gonna do is just take my finger and, and just poke those down half an inch or so deep, cover them up just like that. Water a little and yeah, you're good to really go. easy, good to go. You can actually, this does not have holes in it, this mm -hmm. tray, so you can actually just fill the bottom with three quarters of an inch of water or so and it will soak right up on its own. It also has a little lid that you can put nice. over to maintain the warmth and the humidity inside until, the, until they germinate, and then you can lift that lid off. Nice, and when do you put these in the ground? When it gets a little warmer, first of May. So it may be a little early to start these. You don't want a vine growing all over your living room before uh, time to plant it out. Sure. But give these about four weeks or so. So first of April, you can plant them in the garden the first right. of May. We've only got about 30 seconds left. You've right. got some terrific ideas some here. cool stuff. Um, if Let's you, just show this one. We'll have okay. you come back another time okay, to do great. this. This is how you make your own little so greenhouse. So this is how you make your own little greenhouse. Take an, a, uh, an empty gallon jug, cut three sides of it open so that it clamshells like this, and you can take your pots and set it right there, close it up, keep the lid on it, and it makes your own little greenhouse, and you've recycled something that otherwise would just go in the landfill. Brilliant. I love that. And you, yeah, you've used something else. There, that's a great kid project, yeah, too. It's a great kid project. Some terrific ideas. Thanks so Thank much, you. Troy. Thank you for having me. You'll find more great ideas in Troy's latest book. It is called The Southern Gardener's Handbook. It's available on Amazon. Also, more ideas on his website, too. It's TroyBMarden.com. That's linked to our website at NewsChannel5.com.